G'day guys, Natasha and I are headed to Janolan State Forest this weekend for a bit of a camp out. Um, it's Friday Arvo, we got out of home a little bit later today, bit of a problem with the camper wheel, the, um, was some, a rock or something caught in the brake, it sounded horrible anyhow, pulled the hub off, fixed all that up, so a bit of a late start, but anyhow we're up here at Janolan now and we're heading down a few tracks looking for somewhere nice to camp, uh, hopefully on a little creek or something like that. But anyhow, I'll have a look around. I'll get what I can. It's pretty late already. We want to try and find uh, somewhere to camp and as soon as possible and just um, chill out, have a beer. So hang around, see what we get up to. Well, we've just found this little spot to set up now. Um, we did set up on that big ugly fire pit. At first we had to clean it up. It was just a, it was a mess. We cleaned up, we got it out of there, two bags of those respect bush bags. And then we had this big black ugly eyesore and it's all nice and grassy everywhere. And we don't need a big fire pit like that. So we've just parked the camper on top of it. Um, so that gets, that gets rid of that eyesore. And um, we've got a nice grassy bit on the other side to um, sit under so yeah the creeks flowing pretty nice and a bit overcast supposed to be a bit rainy this weekend but we're on the right side of the creek so if something floods we can still get out um, it was a nice drive in here it is pretty late now um, it's about six o'clock already after we got in here and done that cleaning up and stuff so the plan is tonight it's just to um, we're gonna sit down now and have a coffee and then we're gonna get the fire pit out and uh, get some charcoal going and um, cook up a bit of dinner and then i'd say we'll be having an early one tonight both pretty tired Cordial? Just. Yeah, right. It is. Just the dad's cordial. Do you want me to open the bag? Cut the bag? Yes, please. So we got our butterfly chicken, sweet garlic, and herb already marinated. Um, just an easy one tonight. It's 
get it on there. Just the hard bit. There we go. Get some of that on there. Bit of rain last night and this morning, so we ended up uh, eating dinner inside last night. Just having a coffee this morning. It's been a few showers, but we're going to put on our rain jackets in a little, in a minute and head off for a walk. Just have a look around. It's really nice in the bush after the rain. Yes, please. Bit of a late lunch today, we're just having some uh, bacon and eggs, bacon and egg wrap.
son Dios. Happy anniversary. It's got a bit of go, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. you get the outside mm. and you get all the chili in one go. Uh, steaks tonight. One's a bit thicker than the other so I'm just going to put this one on first for a bit. These have been seasoned with some bush spice again. I've just put some charcoal on top of the fire. The fire was dying down. I put just chucked the charcoal on there and it's going and it just poured rain so bear with us. Morning guys, Sunday morning and we actually got a bit of fine weather so not long, not sure how long for but we're going to cook up some pancakes for brekkie. I was able to get the fire going, it was a bit of a struggle. Never cooked pancakes on this uh, cast iron thing before so we'll see how we go. Could be a disaster.
just been slowly packing up this morning trying to wait for the camper to dry there's bits of sun but still a little bit wet we'll probably have to open it up when we get home so yeah we're just going to pack up and get going That's it for us guys, we're packed up here and we're about to hit the road and get out of here. Now we've got cleaned up that fire pit heaps as you can see, but we've got two full bags of those respected bush bags of rubbish out of there and just scattered around. Um, so cleaned it all up, we've just done a bit of a walk around now, make sure we've got everything and all packed up, about to go. Just stop there to set the camera up, but we have no more forward momentum. I'm gonna to have to get the max tracks out and see if we can get going from there. Because I can't steer and the camper's starting to go back into the bank. Um yeah. See how we go. I'm gonna roll back onto that one. Hopefully that'll give me enough traction to get me up onto these ones. I don't know, we'll see. I might get you to kick this one back a bit.
there's two here. Yeah. Oh. See how much they got it going. Mm. Oh. oh my god. You can see how much the max tracks help, but if I didn't stop back on that little incline there to start with to set the camera up, we probably just could have kept moving. I should, but anyhow, that's part of it. So we ended up down in there, but the max tracks are helping. I'm just going to back roll back onto them, and then hopefully that'll give me enough momentum to get up there a little bit further. so slippery. Lucky we got those match tracks. to you man yeah anyway guys we just uh, made it back to near the road now and we're just airing up and Tasha's making a bit of lunch we're having that um, leftover flat chicken from the other night on some wraps Sounds pretty good. I'm pretty hungry now, actually. Yeah, we got out of that last hill. Couldn't video that last, um, coming up those last bits. We just had to keep keep going. Like, if, if I had a stop, we just would have been stuck again like that first time. I'm not saying I would have got through that bit. I think I definitely would have got stuck where I did, even if we didn't stop. But, yeah, just got out with the max tracks. I should, could have probably winched off the tree in front of me if I had to. It was, yeah, might have even been better to do that. Not really sure, um... Yeah, it was so slippery in there, but anyhow, we got it. We got it done. Yeah, another another um, trip out of the way, and and thanks for watching. Hopefully, next time we don't get stuck again. <laughs>